Manuela Sáenz Aispuru, also well known as Manuelita Sáenz and the Liberator of the Liberator, was born on December 27, 1797 in Quito, Ecuador under the Vice Royalty of New Granada. She was a revolutionary, spy, and fighter during the Latin American independence movements. After moving to Lima in 1819, she began participating in politics. Manuela leveraged her position as an aristocrat by hosting and attending parties where political leaders and military officers would share secrets about the revolution. According to scholar Nicola Foote, science's participation as an informant underscored the gendered nature through which women could involve themselves in politics. Feminine networks of gossip, whether those solely of the elite class or those mediated by slaves, were central to science's political agency. Moreover, Science suffered discrimination for her intersecting identities as an illegitimate child, as a Creole, and as a woman. Having abandoned her husband, she was typified as scandalous and promiscuous. Nevertheless, as part of the elite class, she was able to challenge female norms of domesticity, a privilege not afforded to her female slaves, Natan and Jonatas, who helped her in her revolutionary cause. In this way, Science represents numerous dynamics of inequality with regard to class, gender, and race in 19th century Latin America. She was honored for her work in the revolution and was awarded the Order of the Sun, the highest military honor in Peru. However, science's historical legacy has mostly been linked to her romantic relationship with Simón Bolívar. It is certainly true that she and Bolívar were close, as revealed in their love letters. In 1822, the year she met Simón Bolívar, she wrote, My dear sir, I thank you for the interest you take in my person, because you know well my presence in body and soul at your side. Consider me your love, who is crazed and desperate, to be at one with your essence's glory. I suppose you find yourself in the same condition as the most faithful of your friends, who is Manuela Sáenz. She even saved Bolívar's life from an assassination attempt in 1822 by fending off his would-be assassins with a sword, allowing him to escape. However, by the end of Bolívar's life, he had become an unpopular figure due to his dictatorial tendencies and died on his way to exile. Manuela, likewise, was cast aside and exiled from Colombia and Ecuador and lived out the rest of her life as an outcast until her death in 1856. Manuela's role in the independence movement has been neglected by historians and she was not celebrated for her work as a revolutionary until nearly 100 years after her death. Between the years 1860 and 1940, only three texts were found to have mentioned her name at all. These texts focus on her role in saving Bolívar from assassination rather than as an agent of revolution in her own right. This is indicative of a greater cultural pattern of ignoring exceptional women and their achievements. From Sor Juana in colonial Mexico to the female boom writers of the 60s and 70s, it is clear that, for many years, women in Latin America had no place in revolution. Today, interpretations of science have been shaped not only by machismo and sexism, but also by nationalism as part of the left-wing Bolivarian movement of the early 2000s. Science, who was buried in a mass grave, was given a symbolic burial by Hugo Chavez in 2010 to honor her legacy. However, many others saw this as a move to advance the Bolivarian cult. In media, Science is often depicted as overtly sexual to reimagine her as a feminist icon beyond her contributions to the independence movement. She has been the subject of dozens of scholarly articles, books, movies, and TV series. However, her historical legacy, as with many other Latin American women, is tied to the name of a man. As Pamela Murray, a scholar who has dedicated much of her career to studying Manuela writes, science's incorporation to a wider history of Spanish-American women remains to be undertaken.